Today we are going to learn how the dipole moment of a molecule can be used to determine the molecular structure or geometry of the molecule. Okay. In order to begin with, you should have some basic ideas and the first idea that you should already have is what is dipole moment. For example, you have uh, a molecule like a hydrogen chloride and here chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen. Therefore, the electron density will be pulled towards the chlorine. So, chlorine get a delta negative charge and the hydrogen get a delta positive charge. So, this is a polar bond or this molecule act as an electric dipole. The strength of this electric dipole is called a dipole moment. Dipole moment and the dipole moment can be measured as mu is equal to Q into R where Q is the charge at one end and R is the distance between the two point charges. So that is dipole moment. Okay, and this I, this uh, information on the dipole moment of the molecules can be uh, used for the uh, for for ruling out certain structures and uh, and uh, uh, agree with uh, certain other structures. Okay, means this dipole moment will act as uh, or dipole moment can be used as the determining factor for the molecular structure. A dipole moment the young and molecular structure determines in the Mokabuia, Namkunoka. Ponamath example at number of H2O molecule. H2O water, H2O. H2O is possible structures One is a linear structure. Oxygen atom is here, hydrogen and hydrogen. So this is a linear structure. All the three atoms are in a line. So that is why it is called a uh, linear structure. And if we are considering this linear structure, okay, linear structure, then what you should expect? And this uh, OH bond is a polar bond and its a direction is from the positive to negative. So this is the dipole moment of the OH bond. And there is another OH bond in the left side that will also act as an electric dipole. Its uh, direction is like this from positive to negative. Okay. So, what will be the net dipole moment in this case? The net dipole moment in this case will be zero. Net dipole moment. Net dipole moment mu is equal to zero because these two individual dipole moments will cancel each other. These two dipole moments are of the same magnitude, but they are in different directions, so they will cancel each other, and so the net uh, electric dipole moment is equal to zero. Okay, and now we can consider another possibility that is a bent structure, bent structure, H O H. Okay, this is a bent structure, and here also the two OH bonds are acting as uh, dipoles, electric dipoles. Okay. The direction of the electric dipole is from positive to negative. And what will be the net dipole moment here? Now the net dipole moment here will be the vector sum of these two dipoles. The vector sum of these two dipoles will be in this direction. Okay, vector sum will be in this direction. And uh, it means that if water molecule has a bent structure, water molecule bent structure undan undangil and endu undayirikkum or net dipole moment undayirikkum so you should expect that there should be the, some dipole moment and if we are measuring the dipole moment of the water molecule we can see that the actual dipole moment mu is equal to 1.85 dy okay that is a non zero value so what do we should uh, uh, we should conclude uh, we have a uh, um, we have tested two possibilities. One is a linear and another is a bent possibility. And if it is linear, the dipole moment should be zero. There is a bent and dipole moment is non zero value. The actual value of 1.85 dy, we can measure it. But the water molecule is a linear structure, a bent structure, and water molecule. Water molecule has a bent structure. Okay, 
and now we can take the next example the next example is cu2 has a linear structure the, this is one and the next is co2 has a linear structure linear structure but but what is but but so2 has a bend structure so2 has a bend bend structure this is what we are going to consider next co2 has a linear structure and so2 has a bend structure both the molecules co2 and so2 both of them have three atoms in it alle carbon dioxide il anengilum sulfur dioxide il anengilum moon atoms are ullathu rendum dioxide gal aanu rendu element gal dioxide gal aanu alle appo idine aadithe idine linear structure um randamathe idine bend structure um vannathu enginiyana namukku inda parishodichu nokka allengil adu correct aano idu namukku inda parishodichu nokka appo aadithe case nu parivanichu nokka കാർബൺ ഡയോക്സൈഡിന്റെ ലീനിയാർ കേസ് അല്ലെ ലീനിയാർ കാർബൺ ഡയോക്സൈഡ് സി ഡബിൾ ബോണ്ടോ ഡബിൾ ബോണ്ടോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ലീനിയാർ കാർബൺ ഡയോക്സൈഡ് ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെന്റ്സ് ഒന്ന് നോക്കാം ഈച്ച് കാർബൺ ഓക്സിജൻ ബോണ്ട് വിൽ ആസ് ആക്ട് ആസ് ആൻ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ഡൈപോൾ ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഈസ് ഫ്രം കാർബൺ ടു ഓക്സിജൻ ബിക്കോസ് ഓക്സിജൻ ഈസ് മോർ ഇലക്ട്രോ നെഗറ്റീവ് ഹിയർ ദിസ് കാർബൺ ഓക്സിജൻ ബോണ്ട് വിൽ ആൾസോ ബി ആൻ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ഡൈപോൾ ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഈസ് ഫ്രം കാർബൺ ടു ഓക്സിജൻ So, what will be the net dipole moment? There are two dipole moments. These two dipole moments are one value, but they are in different directions. So, what will be the net dipole moment? Net dipole moment of mu will be equal to zero. If you are experimentally checking for the dipole moment of carbon dioxide, we can find that carbon dioxide has zero dipole moment. So, carbon dioxide has a linear structure. അതേസമയം കാർബൺ ഡയോക്സൈഡിന് ബെൻഡ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ആയിരുന്നെങ്കിലോ അതിനൊരു നോൺ സീറോ വാല്യൂ വരുമായിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ എക്സ്പെരിമെന്റലി വി ഹാവ് ഫൗണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് കാർബൺ ഡയോക്സൈഡ് ഹാസ് എ സീറോ ടൈപ്പോൺ മൊമെൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് കാർബൺ ഡയോക്സൈഡ് ഹാസ് എ ലീനിയർ സ്ട്രക്ചർ അതേസമയം നമുക്ക് എസ് ഒ ടു മോണിക്കുള്ളിൽ എന്ന് നോക്കാം എസ് ഡബിൾ ബോണ്ട് ഒ ഡബിൾ ബോണ്ട് ഒ എസ് ഒ ടു എസ് ഒ ടു ഹാസ് എ ബെൻഡ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഇത് ശരിയാണോ നമുക്കിത് പരിശോധിച്ച് നോക്കാം സൾഫർ ഡയോക്സൈഡ് അല്ലെ സൾഫർ ഡയോക്സൈഡ് ആകുമ്പോൾ രണ്ട് ഡൈപോൾസ് ഉണ്ട് അല്ലെ ഇങ്ങനെ രണ്ട് ഡൈപോൾസ് ആണുള്ളത് സോ ടു ഡൈപോൾസ് ആർ സൾഫർ ഈച്ച് സൾഫർ ഓക്സിജൻ ബോണ്ട് ഈസ് ആക്ടിങ് ആസ് എ ഡൈപോൾ സോ ദ നെറ്റ് ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെന്റ് ദ നെറ്റ് ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെന്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് റൈറ്റ് ഇങ്ങനെ ആയിരിക്കണം നെറ്റ് ഡൈപോൾ അതൊരു നോൺ സീറോ ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെന്റ് ആയിരിക്കും ഈ നോൺ സീറോ ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെന്റ് എന്തായിരിക്കും നമുക്കൊന്ന് പരിശോധിച്ച് നോക്കാം ഈ സൾഫർ ഡയോക്സൈഡ് ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെന്റ് നമ്മൾ നോക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ വി ക്യാൻ സി ദാറ്റ് It's a dipole moment is 1.63 dB. Okay, it's a non-zero value. It means that the sulfur dioxide has a bend structure. That is, I mean, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, in a poly linear iron, you know, it would have a zero dipole moment. But we have a non-zero dipole moment for sulfur dioxide. It means that sulfur dioxide has a bend structure. So that is the second example. now we can look for another example bf3 has bf3 bf3 has zero dipole moment zero dipole moment but but ns3 has a non zero dipole moment ns3 has a non zero a non zero dipole moment. NS3 has a non-zero dipole. We can, we can check what is the reason behind it. BF3 BF3 is a planar molecule. Okay? BF3 is a planar molecule. So, BF3 is like this. This is BF3. BF3 it's a planar molecule and uh, each boron fluorine bond will act as a act, act as an electric dipole le so either electric dipole ana let me draw it in another color so that you will not be confused so this is a dipole moment this is uh, another dipole moment and uh, this is uh, another dipole moment. so all are vector quantities okay each boron fluorine bond will act as a dipole electric dipole 
So what will be the net dipole moment? This is a planar molecular isolation. It's a planar molecule. Planar. Sorry. It's a planar molecule. Planar molecule. So what will be the net dipole moment of this planar molecule? You can see that there are three dipole moments like this. Like more the dipole moment. Each of these dipole moments are, are separated at uh, 120 degree, 120 degree angle. Okay, all these are 120 degree angle. So what will be the dipole moment, the net dipole moment? We can check. Okay, let us preserve this dipole moment here. Okay, this is the one dipole moment which is this one e dipole moment are yan ivide ezhichirikkunathu okay ini rendamathu dipole ne yan varikkan poguyana let me draw that in another color let me draw that in another color so this is a net this is a dipole moment the second dipole moment means this one okay and what about this one and this one is uh, here. Let me draw that um, in uh, another color. Let me pick uh, yellow. Okay. So this one is here. And I want to add these two the blue one and the yellow one. Okay. For that, I can bring this yellow vector to here. I can bring this yellow vector to here. When we are when bringing, it should be moving, it should move parallel to. Um, means the new vector, the new vector, the moved vector should be parallel to the original vector. Means the moved vector should be here. Okay, it is parallel to the original vector. So this vector, yellow vector, I have moved it to here. So the yellow vector is no more here. It is moved to here. Why I am doing this? Because I want to add this vector and this vector, these two vectors. So the vector sum of these two vectors will be this one. So let me draw that in another color. Okay, this is the vector sum from here to here. So vector sum of these two vectors, one vector is in this side, this direction, another vector is in this direction. The sum of these vectors will be from here to here. So what is the sum vector sum of these two? That is the this this vector and this vector or blue vector and yellow vector. What is the sum of blue vector and yellow vector? The sum of blue vector and yellow vector is the red vector. And this red vector has the same magnitude of the uh, pink vector, this one, but it has the opposite direction. Okay. So the pink vector, the first vector, will be cancelled by the red vector or net vector of the other two. So what is the result? The result is this vector cancelled by this one. So this the effect of this vector will be cancelled by this one okay so that is a zero so that happens to every vector so the effect of this vector will be cancelled by these two effect of this vector will be cancelled by these two and the effect of this vector will be cancelled by these two so um, that is how the net dipole moment of mu is equal to zero so that is why I, I, saw, I, I, I said in the beginning BF3 has a zero dipole moment. See why BF3 has a zero dipole moment? It has a planar structure or in other words we can say BF3 is planar and BF3 is planar. How to show that BF3 is planar and we can measure the uh, dipole moment of BF3. The dipole moment of BF3 is equal to zero. So BF3 should be planar. BF3 planar IA particular. Okay. In the add to the consider NS3. NS3. NS3 is a non-zero dipole moment. In the one down number of the Yambo. NS3 is a non-zero dipole moment. So non-zero dipole moment of NS3 is due to the pyramidal structure of NS3. Pyramidal structure of NS3. N okay h3 okay one bond is here that is in the same um, plane of the board another bond another bond is behind the board that is why i have uh, uh, drawn it is like a dashed bond this is behind the plane of the board and another bond is towards 
or that is in front of the plane or plane of the board towards us okay or towards you so you can draw that like this a, a bold bond that is projecting towards you that is why it is like this so it has a pyramidal structure nitrogen is in the top of the pyramid and hydrogen 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 they are in the bottom of the bottom corners of the pyramid okay so it has a pyramidal structure so what will be the dipole moment of this one it has a dipole moment the first dipole moment we can consider like this that is from hydrogen to nitrogen from towards hydrogen nitrogen is more electronegative than hydrogen so this is the direction and another dipole moment is like this this is the direction and another dipole moment will, will be like this this is the direction so what will be the net dipole moment the net dipole moment will be in this direction that will be from the that will be towards uh, towards the top that will be uh, in the upside from the top of the pyramid okay so this is the net dipole moment net dipole moment so it means that uh, ammonia has a non zero dipole moment mu ammonia has a non zero dipole moment mu okay so that is what we can we can we can uh, guess from here since ammonia has a non zero dipole moment we can say that it has a pyramidal structure non zero dipole moment and uh, in the case of the ammonia we have to consider another thing actually in this ammonia there is an orbital here an orbital here and this orbital bears a lone pair okay and because of this orbital also there is a dipole moment okay that dipole moment is also in the same direction and this dipole moment is due to the orbital orbital carrying the electron okay and this net dipole moment of all the nh bonds and the dipole moment due to the orbital orientation they are in the same direction so these two dipole moments will be added up so the net dipole moment of ammonia is not only due to the and net uh, the neutrally due to the nitrogen hydrogen polar bond but also due to the orbital contribution okay the orbital also contribute towards the dipole moment so this is what we have to prove um, bf3 and ns3 has bf3 has a zero dipole moment and ns3 has a non zero dipole moment okay now we have we are going to the next example that is the fourth example the fourth example in the fourth example we are talking about identification of cis trans isomers identification identification of cis and trans trans isomers cis and the trans isomers suppose we are making one product and we want to know whether the cis product is formed or trans product is formed for example we are considering dichloroethylene okay dichloro dichloroethylene okay or 1 2 dichloroethylene 1 2 dichloroethylene it means that in the ethylene molecule ethylene molecule means c double bond c in both uh carbon there is a chlorine okay cl cl and remaining is h h so 1 to dichloroethylene we want to know the product formed here is cis or trans cis or trans or not okay for so cis inter structure engena varunathu cis 1 to dichloroethylene engena aanu varunathu ah c double bond c okay cis aanundengil both chlorines will be in the same side അല്ലെ ഇപ്പൊ ഹൈഡ്രജൻ രണ്ടും ഒരേ സൈഡിലായിരിക്കും സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് സിസ് വൺ ടു ഡൈക്ലോറോയിലി ഇതൊരു പ്ലനാർ മോളിക്കുൾ ആണ് കേട്ടോ ഇപ്പൊ സിസ് വൺ ടു ഡൈക്ലോറോയിലീന ദിസ് ഇസ് സിസ് ഐസോമർ ഇനി ട്രാൻസ് ഐസോമർ അങ്ങനെ അതിനോട് വരുന്നത് സി ഡബിൾ പോയിന്റ് സി ട്രാൻസ് ആകുമ്പോൾ രണ്ട് ക്ലോറിൻ ആറ്റവും ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് സൈഡിലായിരിക്കും വരുന്നത് ക്ലോറിൻ ആൻഡ് ക്ലോറിൻ വിൽ കം ഇൻ ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് സൈഡ് ഹൈഡ്രജൻ ഹൈഡ്രജനും ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് സൈഡിൽ വരും ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ ഇതാണ് ട്രാൻസ് ഐസോമർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെന്റ് ഓഫ് സിസ് ഐസോമർ വി ക്യാൻ സി ദൈപോൾ മൊമെന്റ് ഈസ് 
two point nine six the bar. Okay, non-zero value. And if you are measuring the dipole moment of the trans, you will see that it's a zero. It's zero. It's a zero dipole moment. When in the one diagram, trans in the case of system, system in the case of load non-zero, we want to know that. Okay. Apa sisi ini ke sisi lain atau tidak? Ada dua klorin atau beres set dah. Egini ada dipole moment seperti itu. Carbon to klorin. Okay, let me let me draw it in yellow color. Carbon to klorin. Okay, and here also carbon to klorin. These are the dipole moments. And here it comes from hydrogen to carbon. Okay, ini ada berita dah. Ini ada berita dah. Le. Ini berita nak kita atau tidak? Egini ada. There will be a net dipole moment. The runtin is under for a net dipole moment. Okay. From carbon in the CH bond to the dipole moment. Add a problem. That will be CCL bond to the dipole moment. Add a problem. That will be a CH bond to the CCL bond to the dipole moment. That will be a net dipole moment. That will be a polarity and a net bond to the dipole moment. That will be a net dipole moment. Okay. So we can explain why this molecule has a non-zero dipole moment. Actually, trans in the case of the glow. Okay, this is the CCL dipole moment and this is the CCL dipole moment. Right? This is angle, this is CH dipole moment. CH dipole moment. This is the CH dipole moment. This is the CH dipole moment. So, you can see the CCL dipole moment and CCL dipole moment. The CCL dipole moment is the vector sum and the area. That will be zero, अल्लाह। तो ये दम ये दम opposite direction लाना, ये दम अदा इधर CH में CH इंटेड दम opposite direction ना, इल्ला cancel आई को, so net dipole moment will be equal to zero। अब अब नम्बर के ये product की गिट्टी, अदने शेषन नम्बर के इधर सिस्टानो ट्रांसानो ना रियोनो में निगलन दे इधाम दी, अंडे dipole moment में श्री इधाम दी। If you get a non-zero dipole moment, it means that you got a cis product. If you got a, a zero dipole moment, it means that you got a trans product. Okay, so this can be used for the identification of cis trans isobar. Okay, that is another structural application. And the next one is the fifth one. I will conclude with this one. And the identification of ortho meta and para isomers. Identification. Identification of ortho meta and para isomers para isomers for example we can we can uh, check the, the the dipole moments of uh, um, ortho dichlorobenzene meta dichlorobenzene and para dichlorobenzene okay first one is ortho dichlorobenzene means this one this is benzene okay the two chlorine atoms are the ortho positions to each other okay so this is chlorine and this is chlorine so this is ortho isomer and what about the next one next one is a uh, para isomer okay and meta isomer so we have the benzene ring here benzene ring and we have one chlorine here one chlorine here and the next chlorine is in the meta position. So this is meta isomer. And we have another isomer that is we have a, a benzene ring here. Okay. And one chlorine is here and the other chlorine is in the para position. So this is the para isomer. So all these have the same molecular formula. Okay. All of these have the same molecular formula. But they have a different structure. So they are isomers. Ortho, meta and para isomers. We want to know which isomer is formed in a reaction for example. Okay. And in the case of the ortho isomer. Okay. And let us take the dipole moments. Either one the dipole moment. Carbon, chlorine, dipole moment. This one. And uh, this one. Okay. Carbon, chlorine, dipole moments. So, even the random dipole moment is the sum of any other. So, this is the first dipole moment. And the second dipole moment is uh, this one. So, in order to add up the dipole moment, let me bring this dipole moment here. Parallel to this one. This one and this one are parallel. Okay. So, these are the dipole moments. What will be the 
what will be the angle between these two dipole moments that will be 60 because this angle is 60 this angle is a 60 degree so the angle between these two is equal to 60 60 degree okay so what will be the net dipole moment the net dipole moment will, will be in between this okay? this is the net dipole moment net dipole moment is here and the net dipole moment is uh, the net dipole moment for example this is the first dipole moment the yellow this is the first dipole moment this is the first dipole moment okay and uh, this is the the second dipole moment let me draw that in green color the okay, second dipole moment this is a 60 degree but either and would add you know in the other way you dipole moment in your movie each other parallel to movie here we put the dipole moment in the in your day from either a magnitude than any other and a parallel to movie each other either e angle at the right again 60 degree e angle 60 degree but then the vector sum on every a vector sum on another you put an in your vector you put an in your vector and a vector sum either you you put an in the wooden variola the vector there you go to vector sum like e vector sum on the brain the 2.6 divide on the ortho isomer and a dipole moment of the union dipole moment of mu is equal to 2.6 divide now make a name at the noca either meta isomer noca meta isomer the case like another one dipole moment is here and then where a dipole moment is there another dipole moment matter dipole moment in the brain again yana other in your turn again are under the degree at the end in your end in your end in your life 120 degree on under the dipole moment 120 degree another dipole moment sorry let me draw that in the in another color the next net dipole moment is this one next one okay this is 120 degree so this is 120 degree and if you want to see the vector sum of these two dipole moments let me move that this one uh, towards here okay you have to go to here and then Parallel move each. Now, when we move this angle is also 120 degree. So, what will be the vector sum? Vector sum will be from here to here to here. That is the nearest one. That vector is called one cherry vector. So, if we are measuring the uh, magnetic dipole momentum of this meta isomer, we will get it as 1.5. Divide. This is experimental value, 1.5 It is very, very much convincing. Like, we have to do this vector. 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 We have to do this isomer. We have to do this dichlorobenzene. 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 Random of the dipole moment in the brain of the down, the under and down the dipole. Away then the aim, the arrotan is given. Rather dipole with the arrotan. For no more lotum on the tarotum, I end a case in another angle. Both dipole moments of the same magnitude, but they are in opposite direction. Therefore, net dipole moment mu is equal to zero. So, experiment in the Moki Ganyalam is the dipole moment zero. When the Moki product end down the Matilla committee in Mulandi. Ortheano, Meteano, Pareano, we just measure the dipole moment of the pure product. If we are getting 2.6 divide, it means that we got ortho isomer. If it is only 1.5 divide, it means that we got uh, meta isomer. And if the dipole moment is zero, we got para isomers. When dipole moment we which one of the Meteano, Ortheano, Pareano, determines. So, dipole moment is an important parameter in order to get an idea about the molecular structure. Molecular structure in a particular idea get an idea. Dipole moment is a very important dipole parameter. So, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. 
thank you for watching this video and stay tuned